Taipei Mayor Ke Wenzhe today announced the first round of legislative candidates who will run on the ticket of Ke's newly formed Taiwan People's Party. Numbering eight in all, they include one defector from the ruling DPP who is a former legislative Ke's assistant. Another candidate is a popular internet celebrity known as Z9. With the group's average age being 40, the newly established party has acquired a youthful look. In his capacity as chairman of the Taiwan People's Party, Taipei Mayor Ke Wenzhe announced his first round of legislative candidates with a goal of preventing all of Taiwan's political parties, including the KMT and DPP, from gaining a conclusive legislative majority. Taiwan, Taiwan has already lost former Justice Minister Chen Ding-nan. We don't have former DPP chairman Huang Xinjie, but we do have Ke Wenzhe. I am announcing that effective from now, I will immediately withdraw from Tsai Ing-wen's DPP. Zhu Zhecheng, a former legislative assistant, announced at the event that he would withdraw from the DPP and run for a seat in Miali County with Ke's party. In the first round of legislative candidates for the Taiwan People's Party, there were seven people nominated and one drafted. Among them, four people will run for district seats in Taipei City. One candidate will run for a district seat in New Taipei City, as well as one for Miali County, one for Taichung City and one for Kaohsiung. Internet celebrity Z9, otherwise known as Wu Dawei, appeared like a layman as he threw himself into the challenge of running for a district seat in hotly contested Ban Chao in New Taipei City. I voted for Ma ying and supported Tsai ing -wen. but when the Taiwan People's Party was seeking district legislative candidates, I actually signed up of my own accord. As party chairman, we do our best to assist them, but in terms of funding, we are not up to the other parties. The DPP threw 3 million NT on extending the high-speed rail. Most likely, each of our candidates won't get hold of 3 million NT. However, we'll do our best for the candidates we nominate. Kerr did not waste any opportunities to have a go at the ruling DPP, but he could not predict how many seats his party will win, if any. It still remains to be seen if an anticipated second round of legislative candidates will have any bright spots.